Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more modded Darkest Dungeon. So, we are going to do a few runs with the new classes, because I wanted to get more of them to level 3. Most of my level 3 characters right now are old classes. So, we'll be doing the wield, because I need deeds, and we can get 5 deeds from this. There's also a nice leper item here, which I could definitely use. And furthermore, we'll get sunshine in the thicket event which is more damage and more experience for the next run in the wield. And here's our group. We got the Seraph. I also have a Seraph item with plus 5% protection, so we'll be using that. We got the Duchess, that simple enigma. We got Rajin, the succubus. And we got Quagger, the cook. And I do have some items on them. The Seraph seems to do way more damage against marked enemies but it will also consume the mark, which is interesting. So, let's see how this will go. We will obviously grab the food, might as well just get all of it. A few shovels, especially for the wield. Torches. Maybe a skeleton key. And I think that's fine. Okay, this looks fine. Let's go then. So, layout. Let's hope we'll find some quest objectives quickly, because that way I can free up some inventory space. This is a pretty big dungeon for a medium, it seems. Okay, then. Hopefully the quest objectives won't be all the way in the last rooms. So, that looks like a fairly standard group right there. I'm not quite sure how well this group is going to work. I suppose we'll find out. Any point? Transforming right now? Yeah, sure, might as well. I love this transformation, it's so good. We just need to watch our stress. And probably kill the Acolyte first. Hold on, which skill will do the most damage? This one. Here you go, 12 damage. That was almost enough to kill it in one hit. We just need one more damage here. The curse does not do any damage. Okay, I need one damage. Looks like I might have to transform to actually do that, which I don't necessarily want to do. I can also just disable Acolyte's stress skills, because that works. That's mostly what I'm concerned about, her stress skills. So, not much point marking anyone right now. I normally would, but... There's no need. Maybe the brawler. Oh wait, hold on, I can't actually mark him. Right, okay. I can guard an ally and mark myself. There's no need to do that. Let's just hit the skeleton. I don't need healing right now, so how about we try to poison the acolyte? Nope, not enough. Or rather, she resisted. Okay. Nice zero damage. That was kind of disappointing. She only has 20% blight resist, which is not exactly a lot. Okay, let's just use the force guard. And that will also give us a buff. Although, it's not a super useful one in this situation. Okay, let's just finish off the acolyte here. Seriously? Missed again? What the heck? That's starting to get a little bit annoying. Now I have to move forward. Well then. Let's try this again. There we go, that's much better. But this fight is taking a little bit too long for my taste. Way too long. Maybe I should have transformed with the succubus after all. I mean, sure, why the heck not? That will remove a little bit of stress from others. And it's fine. This is actually a pretty good combo with the cook, because she will do damage to other members of our party, but then we will get passive healing from the cook, as long as we are in the actual cooking mode. Anyway, let's hit them. So just the brawler and the skeleton left, with one head. Yeah, I need to move the Seraph, because she's kind of useless all the way in the back. 
And let's hit the brawler, shall we? Here you go. I think that will kill him. Yup, with the bleed. And we can get a little bit of healing done. Heal that damage the succubus did. This could potentially be a pretty nice group. I guess the main class out of place here is the Seraph. Because the Seraph really needs someone who can mark enemies to take maximum advantage of Vindicate. But that's fine, I just wanted to give Seraph a shot. We can make a more optimal party for the Seraph in our future runs. And she will get some experience. Okay then. Uh, let's use that kidney slice right away. Because I'm out of inventory space. Okay, let's move on then. Back to default party order. That requires a bandage. Oh, never mind. The cook will pick it up. If only that could have been worse. The flow of other world All right, world. onwards. Let's check this room because we do not have scouting information. Okay, never mind. I don't really want to waste shovels if I don't have to. If there's a quest item in here, I suppose we can always backtrack. That uses holy water. I don't really want to interact with that without holy water. I'm pretty sure that's a bad, bad idea. Okay, two ectoplasms and an acolyte. Right. Let's just transform right away. Honestly, there's no reason not to transform. It lowers stress on others. I'm just used to most transformation skills increasing stress, not lowering. It's a little bit awkward to get used to. Let's try bleed. It should land on the Acolyte at least. It landed on all of them. Nice. And kill one of the ectoplasms. Here. Okay, good one. And yeah, now there's not a lot I can do. Well then. Yep, I need to move forward. The Seraph really is out of place in this group. Okay, a little bit of healing. We need three more damage on the ectoplasm. Harvest Reaper might do enough. Okay, resisted the other bleed. Fine. Let's finish it off, shall we? I mean, the ectoplasm. Hold on, I can't actually hit it from back here. Never mind. Kill the Acolyte then. There's no need to transform the Duchess right now. Uh, that was a little bit unnecessary. Seriously? Eight crit? Now I need a little bit of healing. Let's just guard the Succubus. I think that's actually the best use of the Seraph in here. Guard the Succubus. Because the Succubus has very low health, which makes me a little bit nervous. So guarding her is definitely a good idea. Okay, then let's just use that right away. Alright, onwards. I need some scouting information to find out whether there's a quest item in this room or not. Nope. Yeah, okay, that's a bit annoying. Let's just move on. Worst case scenario, I'll have to backtrack a little bit, which is not the end of the world. Hopefully, we'll still get some scouting information. Okay, some maggots, that's fine. We surprise them as well. Another no problem. Cleansed from our lands. Yeah, sure, might as well transform. Like I said, there's really no reason not to. How much damage is that going to be? Up to seven. Almost enough, but not quite. One damage short. Here, let's just guard the succubus. What's their blight resist? 40%. Can we do like one damage with something in here? Nope, not really. Let's just do some healing.
It's not like these things do a lot of damage anyway. They most certainly do not. And we have guard up. 26 stress. That should be the trick. Come on now. Finish them off and then let's move on. Back to the pit. Hopefully we'll get some scouting information in the next room. Let's find out. If not, I might just camp in here. Okay, first we got a group to take care of. Let's see. Two brawlers and two acolytes. We can curse one acolyte. Plus 17 stress. Yeah, they can do quite a lot. In terms of stress, at least. Yep, they will both get a chance to attack before I can do anything. Oh well, we are still fine. Let's curse one of them. That will disable the stress skills. And now we can transform. Yep, might as well. Because this will take a few turns, most likely. Up to 12 damage. If I can land the Blight, that should do the trick. Nice! Okay, only 3 more damage needed on the Brawler. I want to kill that Acolyte. Let's try to land the Blight. They only have 20% Blight resist. There it is. That will kill her, nice one. And the other one is cursed, which means she cannot use stress skills. She can pull us towards her, but that's fine. Now I can actually transform, which would have moved me forward anyway, so this is fine. And we can bleed them. Here, need nine more damage on the Acolyte. Maybe the Duchess can do that. Let's find out. And we can do a little bit of healing. I don't want to lose too much health. Especially since our maximum health is not exactly high, with the exception of the Duchess. Their formation is that will do the trick. Alright then. Oh yeah, we can cure bleed, so... Might as well. There's no reason not to. And it has also a bleed resist buff. That is not a bad skill, especially against enemies with very high damage bleed. And there will be some, especially in higher level dungeons. That will actually come in handy in the future, I think. Right, let's finish off this guy. And we can move on. Or rest. We got some deeds. Yeah, I kind of want to just camp right now. Oh yeah, I think this is a quest objective. Let's just camp right now, in here. This is fine. A chance to there. Steal oneself against the coming horrors. Can we prevent a nighttime ambush? Not quite sure about that. Doesn't look like it. Okay then. Some of these skills are kind of weird. Suffer 33% HP damage. Okay, we can heal somebody else, but there's no need to do that right now. Plus 20% maximum health for 4 battles. I might use that on the Succubus, actually. Because she has low health pool. And what else? Yeah, sucks that I can't prevent an ambush, but oh well. Who has the most stress? 27, 19. This will remove 15. Might as well use that. Minus 15% stress received for a few battles. Let's go with that. We still got 5 more points here to use. Okay then. Well then. Plus 50% healing when eating, plus 50% food consumed. No, I don't really want that. Here, let's just give the stress reduction buff to everyone. Will we get ambushed? Nope, we will not. Nice. And there's the first objective. 
finally, we got some scouting information. There might still be a quest objective here, but I really hope not. If there is one, we'll just backtrack, it's fine. Who has the best trap disarm? That would be the cook. Not sure how that makes sense, but alright. There you go. Some more treasure. I'll take it. That holy water might actually come in handy. Nobody here. And the next room is empty as well. We could use some scouting info in the next room. Come on, give me some scouting. Nope. Well then, never mind. Oh, yeah, an obstacle. Fine, we got the shovels. Not really a big deal. Hopefully we won't get surprised too much. That requires medicinal herbs, and I do have one. That's way more food than I need. <laughs> Finally. Okay, we might also backtrack now, or pick up the treasure. Yeah, I can use holy water on that. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's annoying. We got blight. That wasn't me. Possessed by demons. I think that's what did it. I'm pretty sure that's what did it. Well, anyway, I still need two more quest objectives. In before one of them will be all the way back here. It's not a big deal, it will just take a while to backtrack all the way there. Let's check this way first. Uh, that uses a key. A little bit of gold. Yep, we got a fight in the corridor. But we didn't get surprised, fortunately. Let's transform and see if we can kill the Acolyte quickly. Should be doable. Up to 7 damage. And then we need good damage from the Duchess. Oh, never mind. She will not get a chance to attack first. But we didn't get stress. Some healing. I would normally kill the ectoplasms first, but in this case, I would rather kill the acolyte to avoid too much stress. Here, this is up to 12 damage. Or she can dodge, that's really annoying. That is really annoying. Fine. Guard the succubus. We might get a big ectoplasm, but I hope not. We should kill one on the second turn, at least one. Let's see. I still want to kill the Acolyte. There we go, 8 damage. I'm 1 damage short, literally. At least she's not using stress skills, and we dodged. Here, more guard. So, about that ectoplasm. Let's kill one. Because I really do not want to get the big one. That's way more annoying to deal with. We can try to land the blight on the acolyte. There we go. That will kill her. And yep, this will spawn another ectoplasm. Fortunately, they only have 8 health and no protection. They would have been way more annoying to deal with otherwise. Come on. Kill them before they get a chance to do anything. Okay, one more. Yeah, we would have been better off with a different class rather than a Seraph in here. But it's fine, I wanted to give the Seraph a shot. Let's do some healing. The Ectoplasm should die on the next turn. Go on now. Literally two more damage. 
that should do it. Done. So, onwards. At least promises success. Back to default party order first. Where the heck are the quest objectives? There we go, we got one in here. Two scratchers and two artillery. Right, well, let's transform right away. And focus on the artillery, I guess. We could also land the bleed. They have very low bleed resist. Let's do that then. And the scratchers have 33% protection. Oh, they both resisted, really. And they only have 20% bleed resist. That's annoying. But fine. Transform. And focus on the artillery. Maybe we can kill one. I need 10 damage. Not quite. And the guard, I guess. On the succubus. The scratchers can actually do a fair bit of damage, so guard here will definitely be useful. So the last quest objective will be either in this room or in this room, all the way in the back. Hopefully it's going to be this one, <laughs> so we won't have to backtrack all the way. Alright, we'll need some healing in here, that much seems obvious. And let's try another bleed. There we go, now it landed. It's not a whole lot, but they will take it every single turn. So what now? I guess we'll hit one of them. I can't hit the other artillery right now. Here, more guard. I don't think I can pull that artillery towards me either. I would have to get rid of the corpse. This fight might take a while. Yeah, that was a nasty crit right there. Can we do some decent healing on a single target? A sort of? I can use main cords again to heal everyone for 4 HP. I don't think there's the need. I probably can't land Blight, however. Yeah, that's probably not going to work. Okay, let's heal everyone then. That's 15 out of 38. Yeah, they are focusing on the Duchess. I do not like that. 8 health. Like I said, the Scratchers can do a fair bit of damage. Might be better to guard the Duchess now. Let's try to kill that artillery, shall we? It will die now, because that's 7 damage from Blight. Okay, let's guard the Duchess. I wouldn't want her to die, obviously. And now we need to kill the Scratchers. Where's the self-heal? Yep, this one, feed the beast. That self-heal is so good. It does good damage and it's a self-heal. That's just amazing. I like how the Seraph is basically a guard bot in this run. <laughs> right, I can't use main cords again. Well, we can still heal ourselves for a little bit. It's not a whole lot, but it's plus two every single turn. And we are being guarded, so that's fine. Guard again. Need three more damage on the Scratcher. There, that will do the trick. I have to say, I quite like the cook. It's quite a flexible class. And it's a very different type of healer. I'm probably going to use it a lot. So, another heal. Maybe on the Seraph this time. There. Hopefully we'll get a level up and I will be able to level up these skills. Oh, I targeted the corpse. Whoops! My bad. One more guard. 
Can we kill it before it attacks? Yes, we can actually heal ourselves again. So that worked out quite nicely. Can we pick up the gold? Sort of. What do I not need? I suppose I don't need anti-venom. Alright, one more quest item needed. No scouting information. Let's find out. Oh, it's right here in the corridor. Well then, that makes our job easier. Back to the hamlet we go. Let's see if we got some level ups. This leper item will also be quite useful. Over 5000 gold just from the treasure alone. We did get a level up on the Seraph. And on Quagger, nice. Now I can level up the healing skills. Early Riser, plus 2 speed if torch above 75, plus 10% trouble disarm chance, and scouting chance in ruins, and plus 10% stress damage received on Quagger. I want to get at least one Quag to level 3 ASAP, so that's probably going to be Quagger. And now we will get more experience in the wield. Which means I'll be doing the wield next again. Let's check the stagecoach really quick. I do not need another duchess. I might grab another seraph, since I only have one at the moment. And let's sort by class really quick. Do I have more than one crusader? Also, let's check what's available in the wield. There's the boss. However, I already have one restraining padlock. I do not need another. A blue item, plus 25% damage versus beast. That's not too bad. Flagellant item, that's also not too bad. And we got a level 3 dungeon. I could try the level 3 dungeon, but that's a long level 3 dungeon. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Lamia only item. I kind of wanted the wield to take advantage of that event. We'll probably do this one. However, let's check the stagecoach again. I think I only had one crusader. Pretty sure I only had one. Where the heck is he? Yep, only one. Fine, let's grab one more crusader. That's 63 out of 67. Holy purpose. And that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.